welcome to Dungeons, Dungeons with, with Friends. Friends. Hey. It's Liz here, and I am our guest dungeon master tonight for our special Christmas one shot. Let's go ahead and start by introducing our players. Kevin, you want to start us off? I do. I'll tell you guys about my character. I don't even have a name. Yeah, I don't have a name either. Yeah, you guys need to come up with some names real quick. My name is Nick. I am a tiefling sorcerer. I had a terrible fate before me when I was working in my laboratory. And I accidentally trapped my consciousness in a string of Christmas lights. And I have since been stuck in these Christmas lights <coughs> for years in my own personal hell. I see why you said he was having to practice it for a while. <laughs> Very nice, Nick. Are you sure you shouldn't be in the Krampus? Maybe. It sounds very Krampusy to it's me. It's pretty Krampusy. There, there's a lot of Bavarian <laughs> overtones to Nick. Have at it there, Gumble. Gimbal. Oh, oh no! What are you doing? What are you Why? Doing? Are you, what are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? Grabbing that out oh, of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I want to look at the... Okay. <laughs> Shut now go. <laughs> I'm playing Gimbal. Go. That's going to be fun to do if you have to talk. Shut up. Um, I am a uh, rock gnome. <laughs> what you when you do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm also an artillerist. Kevin. I feel it's like he's had what? a tracheotomy. He's what? Yeah. It with his yeah. fingers. It's, 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 it's like the smoke. <laughs> I feel <laughs> judgment. Yeah, Why right. are we judging yeah. here, Kevin? Small cocktails. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I feel like we're shaming me because I'm attempting to do a voice for the entire thing. No, you which get... will not probably work. I'm not shaming you. Go All right, Gimbal. Tell us. Tell please us more be, about yourself. Please be married to me. <laughs> Tell us more about yourself. That's all you, boo. Man, yes. that's, that is, that's all you. Oh, a little bit about me? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. This is going very well. <laughs> I can't come up with a name. I am a misfit toy maker. Um, all my toys have shotguns. Doesn't matter what it is. Barbie, shotgun. Car, shotgun. <laughs> it's loaded. Everything's loaded. Otter, shotgun. <laughs> okay. Stuffed animal, shotgun. It's dark. No, it's just... I like guns. Kaboom. Alright. Good. <laughs> um, we'll call me Mary. M-E-R-R-Y, because that's all I could think of. <laughs> and I just examined a property for someone with that name, so... It's in my head. Her email was Merry Christmas, and I was like, oh, you did it. That's nice. You did it. Uh, I am a socially and awkward um, tabaxi bard, and I can only speak in Christmas lyrics. Uh, Are you in in character now? No. Oh, should I be? I don't know. Do I need to 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 push my throat in? Yeah. Um, I can just, I'll 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 just, i will just i Ugh. Okay. All right, so Rather like the go. golden girls. Aw, so you're okay. So you guys are roommates. Um, so let me set the scene for you. It's um, it's late in the evening. It's about 11 p.m. and it's two days before Christmas. Okay. So at this point, you guys are snuggled up on the couch. And you're watching your favorite Christmas movie. What are you watching? Oh, The Family Stone. Die Hard. Die Hard is Home debatably a Christmas movie. Home. Okay, well, all right. Family all right. Stone. That's so, a pass the popcorn. So we'll Solid say that you've Christmas you've movie. watched Solid two of those, and, and you're now you're now on your third. You're having a Christmas movie marathon. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
and you're having a great time. You guys are snuggled up. You got some hot cocoa. You got some popcorn. Your favorite treats. Um, and suddenly, the movie is interrupted by a PSA. And the PSA states, Attention, attention all citizens. Please come to the aid of Santa Claus. There is a, there is a mischievous malfunction occurring at the North Pole. If you are interested in coming to the aid of Santa, you will be handsomely rewarded. Please call 1-800-HELP-SANTA. And now we return to the previously scheduled programming. And your movie returns on. Are you interested in helping Santa? We must help Santa. He's the master toy maker. This seems to be a result of the natural chaos which is the world. I think perhaps it would be in the best interest of all for us to lean in to the chaos. Let them know it's Christmas time again. Well, it's Christmas time. All right. So, who would like to call Santa? Would you like? Would you like for me? I will. I will cast Mage Hand, which I have out pretty much all the time, and I will reach for the phone and I will dial one eight zero zero. Help, Santa. It's ringing. Ring. 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 Uh, hello, you've reached the Help Santa hotline. Who do I have here? Hello. My name is Snicked. And I saw the PSA. And I am interested in helping the Klaus. Oh, all right. All right. Well, uh, what, we're, what we're going to have you do is uh, come on down to... Come on down to the North Pole here, and uh, we'll we'll kind of feel you out in person and see if we think you'd be a good fit. And uh, feel, you have you fill out an application and everything, see if you can uh, do us some help. I have to say, I enjoy your accent. Oh, I, well, thank you, very, thank you very much. All right, well, uh, Nick. I have always wanted one of my <clears throat> own. Oh, well, you know, maybe you can have one one day. Uh, all right, Nick, uh, you know where the North Pole is, so you know where to find us. Come on up and tell him you talk to Jeremy. Jeremy with a J. Jeremy. Jeremy all right. with a J. Yes, all right. See, see you soon. I have written it down. Uh, good thinking. I'll, I'll write Nicked down, too. All right. See, see you soon, Mr. Nick. Okay, it's Nicked in... He, he already hung up. I C H T. He has hung up the phone. Was it Santa? Was it there? I did not speak to Santa. Who did you speak to? His name was Jeremy. And he said to come to the North Pole. I believe that would be the most logical course of action. At this, I, excuse me. Am I blinking? <laughs> can, you, can you tell me I, I cannot see myself? But I get from your eyes, I, from your looking, I can see, I think I may be blinking. Am I blinking? What place is he? Remember, he's a strand of tangled up Christmas lights. Oh. Yeah. Am I blinking? No, you're not blinking. Okay. Am I on? You are definitely on. Very good. Well, I suppose we should... Perhaps get a good charge, a good night's sleep, and then head How will to we the get North there? Pole. How will we get there? Well, I have heard that there is a train that goes that is very quick, and we will do that, I guess. Where's Australian? I have no other information about this train. Nick, I would love for you to tell me a story of your childhood again. Oh, it was... Save it for the train. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one-shot boo. Save it for the train. <laughs> one eternity later. 
And then right. I stood in the rubble. <laughs> so you're considering um, taking a train. All right. So do any of you know where a train station would be? Uh, can I make an intelligence check? Sure. I should make the... Well, you didn't. Should all of us make an intelligence check? 19. Oh, no. all right. So you're going to know that from your residence, the train station is up about half a mile to the north, okay? And you're also going to know that the nearest train in the morning will depart around 7 a.m. Okay. Do we have, like, a sled or a a car, or is it just going to be hoofing it? You have a reindeer. A reindeer? You do. That's fantastic. And his name is Randy. Very good. This is a drunk reindeer? No. Um, due to my character's limitations, I'm gonna have to call him Rudolph. But his name is. Um, <laughs> he, it, it's, uh, it, so Randy is his Christian name, but okay, Rudolph well, is yeah. his common name. Okay, because I'm like, um, <laughs> so I've got Dasher and Dancer. <laughs> no, no, Randy. Dixon. There's not a Randy in that. And Common and Cupid and Donner and that's Blitz the, and Randy. And, that's the Costco brand and, and I recall Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph. All right, all right. So um, you have a uh, Randy, his Christian name, and Rudolph, you so affectionately call him, though he is distinctly not the Rudolph. His nose is the regular color. Oh, fair. Not red. Yeah, so you, your you don't. But just to make clear, you don't have Rudolph. Okay. Uh, I think as Kevin likes to usually say a legally distinct entity. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> She's colorblind. All right. So you have a reindeer. You Very may good. travel with your reindeer in the morning, or you may travel on foot. Yeah. It's up to you. Um, so I wake up in the morning and I curse the god that allowed me to live in this form for another day, and then I cast mage hand and carry myself out of my room. <laughs> um. How are we just all sleeping in like one giant bed or something? Are we each like I don't know? Can we? Are we all like is he doing that? Is that gonna wake us all up? I wake. Hello, hey, uh, Gimbal. You you are sitting on my plug. You are on my plug. I need to. I'm trying to, but your but it's wrapped around. It's wrapped around your thigh. Please, could you? I. Are you excited to see me? I, it's Gimbal. I, I need you to move so that I can. I need to go, go prepare Randy. Make a persuasion check. I will. Ooh, that's good. That's going to be a twenty-five. Oh, you're persuaded. You're going to have to immediately move that thigh. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I'm going to use magical tinkering. Um. To make where one of his lights is like purple. Okay. So, um, why don't you roll? Let's see. Why don't you roll a performance? No, it's just it's just it's just imbue a met tiny. Okay. Oh, or it's it's just a spell you casting? Yeah, it's okay. I get four of these a day. Oh, okay. All right. So he has I can, a. I can. Uh, Imbue a tiny non-magical object with magical property of your choice. Five foot radius light, up to six second long recorded message, emits order order uh, or non-verbal sound, static visual effect, including up to twenty or five words of text. Uh, so just to mess with Gimbal as he's trying to do this, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation and make it look like it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> So he keeps trying to make it purple, but it keeps staying the same color. <laughs> All right. So as you guys are um, dueling back and forth with Why your spells, I don't um, know. Perhaps you are incompetent. All right. Um, as you two are dueling with your spells, Mary wakes up, and here's the commotion. So, is it beginning to look a lot like Christmas? Mm-hmm. Uh, to face <laughs> the uh, plans that we made. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> what? To face unafraid the plans that we've made. I believe it is time for us to go a walking in a winter wonderland. Can I just carry it? Ooh. I don't have arms. You have a hand. That is carrying me. In the meadows, we can you build a fool, snowman. You idiot. <laughs> 
only one I bottle. could perhaps be interested in building a snowman. Mm-hmm. But I think we should go to Randy, <laughs> Randy the reindeer. Oh, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. I believe he prefers so Randy. Colorblind. Let us go, and I sug- and I start going out of the house to go to Randy. All right. So as you step out, you notice that it's a lovely morning. It's uh, the snow has fallen, and um, it's a very light bit of snow, though. It's going to be easy to travel through. Uh, you will need your coat, but you don't have to worry about being too bundled up. The sun is coming out. You're going to see the sun rise against all of the beautiful white glistening snow. And it's just setting you up for a great start to the trip. Ooh, we'll frolic and play the Eskimo way. (laughs) All right. So um, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and make a nature check, whoever would like to, uh, to get you on track for the um, train station. 16. 16. All right. So you remember that the train station is north, and using your wonderful internal compass, where the sunrise is coming, where the sun has previously been, you're going to set off north. And uh, let's see. So we have Nick is being carried by Mage Hand. Yeah. So I'd probably, I would probably just try to like float next to the reindeer. All right, sort of on the and way. then um, is anybody riding on oh, Randy I'm Rudolph? Gonna, I'm absolutely going to ride on Randy. All right, I mean, okay, so, red reindeer. So Mary and Gimble are both going to be riding on him. Okay, all right. So you guys set you, off. You are looking like a profane Mary and Joseph going on your way to Jerusalem. Round young virgin. Out of context, that seems rather perverse. Mother and child? Better. All right. So, you guys set off, and it's a pretty quick jaunt. Um, As I said, it's it's just under a mile, so you're going to reach it in about um, 30 minutes. Randy Rudolph is pretty quick and spry still. And so, once you reach the train station... Uh, you just need to barter for your tickets so that you can have your passage. Here, allow me. I am very good with people. And uh, I go up to the ticket stand as a sentient string of floating Christmas lights and say, Hello. Yeah? We would like to purchase three tickets to the North Pole. Mm. Well, it's going to be... Uh going to be three gold. Three gold seems rather steep. Rather with Holy Soldier. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. It's just what it is. Three gold. Would you perhaps take two gold? Silver bells? Mm, Two gold and some silver bells? How much are we talking silver bells? Silver bells. All right, I am going to do something. I'm going to use that magical tinker ring again. And I'm going to make his pants smell like sulfur. Whose pants? The, the, like the conductors. I was supposed to be like, I don't think Nick does wear them. Oh. God. God, what is that smell? Oh, God. It's oh. your pants. What is you doing in your pants? What what did you do in your pants? Oh, God, just... Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Oh! And he's just gonna exit. He's gonna run toward the the bathroom. So, what do you do next? Well, now how shall we purchase the tickets? You have scared off the purveyor. (laughs) We'll walk in, Mr. Bright One. Someday... I will bury you. You know this, right? Bring it. I will for 500 years. We shall see. All right, so what do you do next? <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to walk go onto ahead. the train? Yep. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Wait, the conductor sh- sh- think he should, or the ticket guy's thinking he was fans. Yeah. All right, so 
The train ride is only going to take you <laughs> about three hours. It's not that far to the North Pole. So you left at about 7 is when the train departed. So you guys, are you doing anything while you're on the train? Uh, I'm looking forlornly out the window. <sighs> Let's see. Um, Giant storm storm, can't see anything. <laughs> Why don't you roll me a wisdom check? Okay. That is an eight. Eh, you're a little forlorn. You don't know what about, but you're forlorn. It is likely the futility that is to be anything. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyway. I'm going to riddle toy soldiers. Okay. All right. With shotguns. All right. Mary, anything for you? Mm-mm. Just going to be sitting there. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, the time passes rather quickly. And before you know it, ding, 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 ding. The doors to the train, the train comes to a close, come, or the train comes to a stop. The doors open, and you begin to exit the train. And as you're walking out, you get this distinct smell of peppermint in the air. And it's so strong, and it smells amazing. It's just overwhelming to you, because this is your first time at the North Pole. The snow is a little bit different. It feels much more pillowy and powdery, kind of like you're walking through a nice soft cloud. And you make your way up to the conductor's station so that you can get your bearings. All right, I believe it would be in our best interest to ask for directions to the workplace, the house of Santa. Don't we need to talk to a Jeremy? Oh, that's correct. I Where's forgot. Jeremy? Did you get that information? Well, he's, <laughs> his name is Jeremy. How many Jeremys can there be? How many elves are here? Well, I'm going to go ask. I, and I'm, I'm looking for like somebody who looks official. Uh, yes, you. So you stumble upon a person, a, a woman who looks um, very stern, and very much in charge. Yes. You go. Yep. You got this. Oh yes. Do She's not worry. Me. And uh, so I float up again. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Yes, I am looking for a Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy with a J. Ah, oh, Jeremy with a J. Thank goodness you know it's Jeremy with a J because we have Jeremy with a J, a Jeremy with a G, a Jeremy with a silent H, and a Jeremy with a PT in front of it for some god awful reason. So thank goodness you know it's a Jeremy with a J. Everyone comes up to me. Oh, I'm looking for a Jeremy, and I don't know how it's spelled. It's Jeremy. How many Jeremys could there be here? You have any? idea how many elves there are here hundreds of elves with so many of them named jeremy i find your discussion of the various jeremy's to be pedantic well that's rather rude well i am just a matter of fact sentient string of christmas lights Mm. I'm looking for this Jeremy. We are here because of the call for the help of the Mr. Klaus. And you spoke with Jeremy? I did on the phone. What you'll want to do, she unrolls a paper she pulls out from her knapsack that she's holding. She unrolls a paper for you. She says, what you'll want to do is follow this map to the T. And then you will be able to reach Jeremy. I cannot take it from you. As my Ooh. mate and Gimbal. Hmm. This How is my, about that? Not so fancy, are you? This is my associate, Gimbal. Curl. This very curt woman has offered us a map. Here, Gimbal. This is going to be the map to find you, Jeremy, with a J. Thank you. Sorry, he's kind of... He's kind of... He's kind of moody. Well, good day. Mm-hmm. She bids you farewell. Is it now? Um, let's run and have some fun before I melt away. Down to the village we go. Very good. All right, so now you have a map in hand. (laughs) 
Well, Gimbal has it in hand. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, what would you like to do next? Well, let's find Jeremy. Can we see the map? Or is that not allowed? Yes. Of course there's a map. <laughs> <laughs> Why would, you, <laughs> why would you even think there wouldn't be a cap? John? Short on your top? While he is reading the map, I'm going to talk to Mary. Mary. Hmm. I, of course, came into my horrid state of being by accident. How did you come to be in your own sort of prison? You nauseate me, Mr. Grinch. (laughs) But how? Why? Mr. Grinch. Right, so here is your pre-planned map. That's a bit drawn <laughs> all along. <laughs> was definitely drawn in the game. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what, what we're looking what? at here. What are those, yeah. Liz? Liz, what are those? All right, so. There are not even balls with it. It's a tree. Yes. It's a Yes, the best. It's 100%. Okay. Um, okay. Welcome so, to the DM world. <laughs> so here you are at the train station, mm-hmm. and you can clearly see that there's a road that leads you to where Jeremy would be. And on one side, you have mountainous terrain, and on the other side, you have dense forest. That looks like a... So, okay, well, maybe you're going through a... Who knows? It's a fuck ride. All right. All right, so... Gimbal, hold the map in front of me. I just... I just kind of... I'm speaking third person because I can't do that voice forever. I just imagine Gimbal, like... Turn it like yeah. okay. Let, oh, let's try it this way. Let's yeah. Flipping it around. Yes, I can see it that way. Thank you. And then turn it sideways. Like no, no, you've turned it sideways. Turn it the uh, correct. Flip it the other turn way. Turn it. That is not the correct orientation. Please turn it over. Okay, so I have a question. Are you like the little paper clip on Microsoft where you've got like eyes and a mouth, or is <laughs> no. sound just coming sound out? Sound just of comes lights? out because I okay. uh, I have the cantrip thaumaturgy. <laughs> Okay. And I'm just projecting out sound. No, I do not have the mouth. Okay. Yeah. Do you eat? Not in this state, no. Mm-mm. Nope. All right, so you have your map in front of you. <laughs> anyway. What would you like to do? <laughs> Let's go to Jeremy. That's fine, Jeremy. It, says it looks like a workshop is out. Sure. I cannot Emergen- tell. Emergency but facility. I feel as though our path is predestined. So, let's go. Going to go to Jane. All right. Mm. So, um, as you guys are going to decide how to get there, a lovely little elf comes up with um, what appears to be a pedicab. (laughs) (laughs) And (laughs) And the elf says, Hi there. Um, my name's my name's uh, Charlie. Can I give you guys a ride somewhere? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Ch- uh, Char- just Charlie. Um, can I get clarification? When you say elf, do you mean like six foot elf mm. or like three foot elf with pointy three, ears? Three foot mm. elf with pointy ears. Once bitten and twice shy, I keep my distance. Oh. Well. Uh, all right, I just wanted to offer. Let, let me know if you change your mind. I'll be around. This pedicab seems odd. May I make an insight check? Sure. That's going to be an 11. Um, there's, there's nothing suspicious that you can tell about it. Okay. I just don't trust, I don't trust chipper people. Same. All right. Whoa! Well, this is happening in my head. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, just, yeah. 
All right, you ready to start making your way? Yeah. Downtown. But, walking uh, fast. Making but, my way downtown. But walking as fast. as he drives off, if he's if he seems to be going the right way, I would like to kind of like follow him so that we have a kind of a guide. Oh no, he's gonna go ahead and wait there at the train station to oh, see if somebody else would want a ride. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's working. What he's not a, here to guide you. What is this a cruise okay. ship? Well, I just <laughs> thought maybe he's like on a route. You know what I'm saying? No, he's trying to make that dough. Get it. Okay. Um, so we're rocking. Walk. All right. So you're walking along. And um, as you keep walking, you notice that the smell of peppermint is just pervasive. And um, you just didn't realize how strong it would be. And um, you kind of feel like, man, this is um, whew, kind of coming to the head a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, this is oppressive. Can you smell? Why do you ask me these things? Why? Why would I, I? You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Succinct. I couldn't have said it better. She doesn't even have a mouth. As you guys, you've got are, a brain full of spiders. As you guys are chatting, <laughs> you uh, you come upon a very cute um, cookie house. It's not gingerbread. But it looks like it's made of sugar cookie, and it's decorated with all the trimmings. Gumdrops on the pathway, peppermints on the window. There's a nice, tiny little bit of smoke coming out. It appears there might be a little fire inside to keep warm. Would we know if this is the place that we're looking for? Judging by the map, you would know that you're not at the place you're looking for yet. Looks legit to me. Well, I am curious about how a person could build a house that is structurally sound out of cookie. Sounds delicious. Perhaps we should investigate it. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's go investigate. Yeah. All right, so what do you do? Um, I guess I'll float up to the house and does it look like there's anyone in it? You can see some movement, but there are some curtains, mm-hmm. so you can't see who's inside, but you do see some movement and hear a little bit of voice. Um, and one of my awkward things, I'm going to walk up to the house and start kicking in and just start saying, hmm, the sturdy kind of doesn't mind the snow. Uh, is, I totally is forgot that shady? I have to explain what I'm doing. I can't just like... <laughs> <laughs> is there a uh, chimney? There is. Is there like a second story or no? No, it's just a very small little cottage. I'm going to pull out my thorn whip and see if I can, like, lasso the chimney and climb. Bet you are. All right. Go ahead and make a um, a strength check. See if you can uh, pull yourself up there. Twelve. A twelve. All right. So um, you... You uh, send your thorn whip up there, and it does lasso around it, and you are able to get up to about the window, and um, that's about as far as you can get. What is your intention, Gimbal? I was going to go down the chimney like Santa. You fool. Do you not see this smoke? <laughs> you would clearly become inflamed. She does it. Yes, that is because I am to believe that he is gifted in the arcane. Your soul is an appalling dump heap. <laughs> Are not all souls appalling dump heaps? And uh, at this point, as, as he's doing that, I'm going to cast Silent Image mm-hmm. and create an image of, uh, of myself as a human. Uh, or not, not, well, a human, a tiefling. So sort of a purple tiefling, sort of elegant purple gown, and I'm going to like make it walk up to the door, and I'll cast Thaumaturgy and make it sound like it's knocking. And I'm, and I'm like hidden off to the side of the house. <coughs> as I'm like scaling the building. Oh, I'm over there still kicking the house. Just <laughs> Okay, all right. So the door opens, and there you see um, a gingerbread man. Uh, hello? Do you know Hello. The man? Hello. 
My oh, hi, uh, hi, what can I do for you? Hello, my name is Nicked. Oh, hi, Nicked. And I am looking for the residence of Santa Claus. Oh, well, what are you looking for Santa for? Well, we are here to help him. Oh, what, well, what are you going to help him with? Well, there was this sort of announcement that he was in need of help, and so we have come. Oh, so you're like some good guys? Good is a construct. Yeah, we're good guys. Oh, okay. Oh, thank gosh. Well, my name's Gingy, and I just wanted to make sure you guys are here for some good reasons first before I just go off and let you see Mr. Santa, because I love Santa. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know he was in trouble, though. What happened? We do not know yet. Oh, Okay, well, um, come on in, guys, and then we'll get you something to drink, and then we can we can all go get ready to help Santa. Oh, very good. That will not be a problem for me, as I am capable of drinking. Oh, okay. I just see Gimbal just, like, letting go of the rope to the thorn, or just, boom, into the oh. snow. Excuse me, I must now go into the woods, and I'm going to move the silent <laughs> image into the woods and make it disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up and as the Christmas lights and say, "I am sorry for the deception. This is my true form." Where are you? I am, I am the the Christmas lights. <laughs> That's a funny joke. <laughs> no, really, where'd you go? Come on in. Yes, it is funny. You laugh, I laugh, God laughs, everyone laughs. Oh. Please don't, uh, don't worry. That's uh, fine. okay. Well, uh, you guys just come, come on. Come on in, make yourselves at home. Uh, 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 I don't really have anywhere for you to sit, because I'm just a cookie, I don't really sit. But... It is okay, and I just I have Mei Chan drop the lights in the middle of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works, yeah. Uh, you guys want some milk? I am unfortunately incapable of imbibing a oh. liquid. Okay, well, how about you guys? Sure. All right. So, uh, Gingy's going to go Sugar. ahead into the Water. kitchen. Water. God, we just watched that movie the other day. <laughs> More sugar yeah. in water. Sugar water. In water. It's men in black? No, okay. <laughs> and then she goes, your skin, it's just hanging off at oh. you. <laughs> it's not, it's not from the side, it's from no, the back yeah, of the head. That's right. <laughs> 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 what is Okay, I'm not going to say you have to watch Men in Black, because I bet it doesn't hold up. Oh, no, it's really good still. Really? We just watched it the other day. It's... Believe it or not, it was a really forward-thinking movie. Really? Yeah. I mean, I love Tommy Lee Jones, so... Oh, I will say, though, the best Tommy Lee Jones, though, is in the third one. No, the second one, I lied to you. The second one. Because yeah. that's where they have to go pull him out of being... And he's being, the mailman. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, why am I so comfortable here? And then, like, Bismarck, he does his whole thing. That's right. Is that Bismarck? Yeah, it's Bismarck. Sorry. All right. So, um, Gingy, as Gingy goes in to get you some milk from his kitchen, what do you do? Well, me being, you know, socially awkward, I'm starting to go through his shit, not even caring. Uh, Just like, what's this? Gimbal is going to play, uh, he's going to go, like, sit in, the, like, the living room area and play with his toy soldier and his toy f- uh, ferret. Like, since they both have shotguns, they're going to, like, fight each other. Okay. Oh, I just contemplate the void. Okay. All right. Dark so, um, Genji returns. Oh, okay, guys, I just want to introduce you to my lovely wife. Her name is Gertie. Oh. And she's the sweetest little sweet cookie you've ever met. She does seem very sweet. Where did you meet this little cookie? Oh, we were introduced by Mrs. Claus herself. I, I, I'm, at this point, I'm going to look away from... He's the wife because Gimbal's got a bad sweet tooth. Uh oh. 
Eat that pussy. All right. And Gimbal's just gonna be looking down at the Taurus, like. Mm-mm. All right, so uh, uh, your your name is Nick. Yes. And what what are your names again? Mary. Gimbal. Mary and Gimbal. All right, so we got Nick. We got Mary. We got Gimbal. We got Gingy. We got Gertie. That's a winning team, if you ask, Gingy. Five golden rings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like this one. She's fun. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess now was a uh, good, good time as any. Go ahead on up to Santa. We have a really nice sleigh if you guys want to get in one. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane. Snow is glistening. Not what I would like to get. A beautiful sight. <gasps> Happy tonight, night. walking in Peter Wonderland. In a winter wonderland. That was great, guys. All right. Oh, man, this is going to be fun. Okay, so uh, come on out back, guys. So Gingy's going to lead you out back uh, where you see a giant wood pile. Looks like he's been busy chopping away he's the right little lumberjack especially for a gingerbread man my goodness i can see your rippling ginger muscles thanks i've been working out and um so you guys pass by this enormous wood pile you go on to see a gleaming shining pearlescent sleigh Mm-hmm. This was a gift uh, to me from Santa because we work together and I kind of help him out and stuff sometimes. So he decided to give me the missus this nice sleigh so we could come and visit. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Rocking in well winter done, wonderland. I will not sing again. Oh, oh me, gone me, away me. is the bluebird. That's... Well, it's a chill, chill. All right, so Gingy's gonna go ahead and climb up into the front, and uh, I just imagine him being like um, your character with Cher, where he, he's struggling. And just, <laughs> sorry, just a little bitty cookie. <laughs> so, um, so Gingy and Gertie, they're gonna climb up in the front and allow you guys to sit, you know, back in the nicer seat. And uh, in front of the sled, or in front of the sleigh, there are two reindeer, and um, they're going to go ahead and set off. So it's a pleasant sight, still a nice morning. You still have that strong sense of peppermint in the air. And as you climb higher and higher up in the sleigh on the mountain, you start to see um, a smokestack. And as you get closer in view, you're able to see what looks like an enormous warehouse. Maybe kind of a combination of a warehouse and factory. So as you approach, um, you see that there are several elves outside. And uh, Genji starts waving, waving to them, and they wave back. They clearly have a relationship. And so Genji pulls up the sleigh to the front and um, greets the elves and um, what would you guys like to do? I'm going to be eyeballing me a dirty. Uh oh. Well, okay guys, well this is uh, this is Jeremy with a G. This is uh, Jeremy with a silent H and um Ah, uh, over here is Charlene and Margaret and Fatima. Yeah, that's Fatima. I couldn't see from the back. Anyway, these are some of my buddies here. And so uh, these are some people that came there looking for Jeremy with a J to, to help out with that, with some ad they said. Why are there so many Jeremy's? It's just a very common name in elves. Yeah. Ooh. So Mary's gonna look at Jeremy with a G and say, "Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. <laughs> and the very next day, you gave it away, and just stare at him." 
he kind of um, looks timidly at the floor, back at you, and at the floor, and then he um, starts to kind of walk mm. away. He's unsure. As I yell to him, this year I'll give it to someone special. <laughs> uh, can I see what, would I know what Gertie's made out of? Gingerbread. It is gingerbread. Not shortbread? Yeah. Why, why would, there's no such thing as shortbread people, babe. I've never had a shortbread man. I've never said, mm, do you know what I think I'll have for the holidays? Shortbread man. <laughs> Shortbread man! man. <laughs> oh my god. Was it fine in flavor? Wow. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Liz, welcome to DMing. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, this hasn't broken down into anarchy yet. Yeah. Alright, so <laughs> Gingy is. Uh, Gingy and Gertie are going to part ways with you at this point. They're going to um, head on into a different part. And pass you off to, <laughs> and pass you off to Jeremy with a G. So Jeremy with a G is like, all right, guys. So I'm gonna take you up to Jeremy with a J, and he's gonna ask you a few questions. See, uh, see if you guys would be a good fit for helping us out. Sound good? Do you recognize me? Well, it doesn't even surprise no. me. It's been a year. Uh, no. I'm sorry. All right. Uh-oh. So uh, fo- follow me in here, guys. So he uh, pulls a chain which leaves a giant door to open, large enough so that a a huge vehicle could fit through this door, drive in and out of it. And as the door begins to eek up, because it's very heavy, you see this enormous assembly line full of supplies, toys in the making. It seems at this point that you might be, in fact, in Santa's workshop. So, all around you, it's very, very busy. Hustle and bustle because it is Christmas Eve. The morning of Christmas Eve. So, Jeremy with a G doesn't waste any time. And he takes you straight upstairs to the third floor. And he knocks on an office door. And Jeremy with a J opens the door. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What, what, what can I help you with? Hello, Jeremy with a J. Oh, yeah, that's me. Hello, my name is Sneaked. I believe we spoke on the telephone. Wow, that is very surprising to me. Okay, well, we can can work with this. Okay, Uh, come on in, y'all. What do you mean? Elaborate on your meaning. I just never seen talking Christmas lights. How absurd it is to be anything at all. You have talking cookies, but you haven't seen talking Christmas lights. Uh, bingo, partner. Come on in, guys. Very well. All right, so you follow him into his office. He says, uh, uh, let, let, let's start with a few questions here. Um, <clears throat> first of all, what do you know about Santa? Master toy maker. Check. Uh, Good day. Check. Yes, I believe he has a kind heart. Check. She's a oh. saint. Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you glide my sleigh tonight? Check. Oh, right. She's a saint. Check. Rosy cheeks. Belly like bowl a bowl full, jelly. full of jelly. Check. All right. Seems like you've done your homework. You know about our big guy here. We are thorough. Now, let me ask you this. Where do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 as being able to problem solve and think on your feet and work through issues and come together as a group? We got this. That is a quite quite large array of metrics to be summarized in a single number. I would rate us very high, somewhere between an 8 and a 9, for nothing is perfect and nothing is imperfect. He's a. Fr- I'm just gonna stand behind him, shaking my head, just nodding at him. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, seems like you guys could be the people for the job, or the Christmas lights for the job, or yeah. the beings. Mm, I don't really know how to approach this one, but anyway. Uh, so, all right. Let me let me give you a situation here. Over the last couple of weeks. We've been noticing a lot of our resources being taken out. 
We don't know by who or by what. We can't figure it out. Every morning, the elves come in the workshop and more stuff missing. Lots more stuff missing. So much stuff. It's really making an impact. It's making it real hard for us to do our job and get all the toys out for the kids tonight. So we need somebody to help us figure out where everything's going. Sounds like you have a loss prevention problem. We have not. I have an idea. Okay. It well, seems very early on to already have an idea, but I, I think this would be a good time for us to workshop it. What I don't for. Can we, can we, can I'm going to like, kind of like motion we need to leave so I can like plot this away from Jeremy. Excuse me, Jeremy with a J. We need a moment to ourselves. May we have the room? Uh, my, my office? Or a room. I am not particularly attached to this room. Uh, sure. Uh, we got like a conference room next door. Y'all want to go over there? That sure. would be superb. Partridge Does it have an outlet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Feel I free to, to charge. juice up. <laughs> and yeah, uh, once we go in, I plug myself in. Okay. Oh, that is better. Not. Yes. Here was my plan. Right. We're going to have Mary in the rafters. I, you, are going to hang me from the rafters like I'm descending from the rafters. And then we're going to get the guy who get, does this. So in your grand plan... I am nothing more than equipment. <laughs> so, while this is going on, Mary's going to realize that he, in fact, is a string of lights, and she's a cat. What she's, are you? Stop <laughs> it. She's Stop batting at me. Stop it. What are you doing? This is... We have lived together for three months, and you have fought this impulse. What is... Why... Gimbal, will you, are you to stand aside and just let this happen? <laughs> I think this is kind of true. What are you? Oh, actually, I'm. Oh, and I'm wrapped up, and we're wrapped together. Is this, this is what you wanted. Is this the outcome that you can barely get off? All get right, off at of this me. point, as get you are entangled, entangled together, you. get as, off. As you're entangled in one another, get Jeremy off. with the J kind of opens the door slightly. Excuse me, we need our privacy. Oh. Toys in every store. Uh, hold on. Uh, what? Our okay. methods may be odd, but we will get you results. Do not worry, Jeremy with a J. All right, he slowly oh, closes the okay. door back. So I'm going to, okay. like, no, get no, all no, this, no, like, no, the I'm lights gonna off I'm going to try help, but I'm going to actually probably get more entangled Why with it. Why are you... God <laughs> damn it. Will everyone get off of my fucking shit? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to help. Jesus hide. Christ. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> Very sensitive to being tangled. Mm hmm. It is just not a happy place for me to be. So, Nick, about my plan, what do you think? I like the bones of your plan. I, I, think, I think I like where it is going. So, Mary, you be in the rafters, and then Plan's I. Lookout. As a lookout. And I can use my ability to message so that we can communicate wordlessly. And if we need to make a hasty retreat, I can make a distraction. That is the plan, then. Very good. Let us find Jeremy with a J. All right, side note, I told y'all it's one day off. It's actually the day before Christmas Eve. Okay. Okay, day before Christmas Eve. Okay, so okay. it's Christmas Eve Eve. That's right. Yes. So I'd like to find Jeremy with a J. All right. Excuse me. Uh-huh. Excuse me, and I'm tapping him with my prongs. Excuse me. Yes, yes. I believe we have a rudimentary plan. Okay. I think it best... To ensure complete certainty that we rule out all parties that you not be entirely privy to this plan. Uh, uh, I, I guess that makes sense, yeah. However, we will need unfettered access to all components of this building. You mean to tell me 
you want access to everything in here, and I can't know about what you're doing. Yes, that's exactly what we're telling you. All right, all right. You're you're coming in here to the workshop. You're you're gonna have everything at your disposal. And and how, how am I to know you're not gonna just take us for everything? Little to help. We can. We're trying to help. Look, we have come here out of philanthropy. It's we, Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. Yes. We have come here out of the various goodnesses of our hearts or where our hearts used to be. And we are here to help Santa Claus. Why would we come all of this way under the guise to come and rob you and stand before you in front of your face Mm -hmm. and tell you of our plan? Trust us. We are the good guys. Roll a persuasion. Are you Jamaican a little bit there? A little at the end. Uh, it always goes Jamaican. Uh, 14. Hmm. Um. Uh, all right, but, but, uh, we're, we're still gonna have eyes out everywhere. So, we're, we're gonna I know. I would expect no less. All right, all right, well. Let's, let's see what we can find out. Oh, I just have an idea. Is it as good as your last one? I can go on the cover. Okay. How? I'm a, I'm a gnome. I'm tiny. I'll just give me the ooze and we're good. As we were talking to Jeremy with a J, I would like to cast Detect Thoughts. So, uh, without... Uh, okay, let me go to the spell. We can see exactly what it does. I'll read it to you verbatim. Uh, for the duration, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Duration is a minute. Uh, when you cast the spell as your action until the spell ends, you can focus your mind on any creature you can see that was within 30 feet of you. Uh, if it has intelligence of three or lower and doesn't speak any language, it's unaffected. He's gonna be able, he's gonna be affected. So I initially learned the surface thoughts of the creature, what's on its mind at the moment, and then as an action, I can attempt to probe deeper. It makes me a wisdom save, and if it fails, I gain deeper insight into its reasoning, emotional state, or anything that looms larger in its mind. So surface thoughts for Jeremy. Okay. <clears throat> So Jeremy's surface thought he he's desperate. Okay. He's feeling a little apprehensive about your help because you're strangers and he doesn't know you. But no one else came forward that was even close to worthy of trying to help. Okay. Everybody else seemed to either have a scam going or some kind of ulterior motive. They basically did not do as well in the interview process as you guys. Oh, Jesus. Uh Uh-huh. Jesus. Slim Pickens out here, guys. Slim Pickens. Okay. So, um... Um, so now I'd like for him to make me a wisdom save. Okay. And I want to see how, if there's anything else going on in there. Oh, God. This is the time where the DM is like, make stuff up. Make stuff up on the fly. Uh, that's going to be a five. <laughs> that is a so. failure. So uh, his deeper thoughts, reasonings, motivations, anything else? Um, his deeper thoughts are... If they're not germane. Not that deep. That's, um, that's good. He's really just... Um, he's, he's just he's, desperate. Yeah, he's just yeah. really struggling. You don't see okay. any kind of like connection to any outside thing or you know you don't think you don't have any reason to suspect him as being in on anything i just imagine he's like stressed because he feel, i think he like works the call center all day yeah so uh yeah so i guess as soon as we're able to kind of break away from him um i say i used my arcane abilities to be able to peer inside jeremy with a j's mind and i found him to be Truthful, he seems desperate. Mary, what do you think? For like we're not to sp- speaking in song lyrics. <laughs> a lot harder than you think, John. Yeah, you gotta set her up a little. Yeah, you can't just like, say, what do you be think? Like, Mary, what do you think of this Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas yeah. tree. <laughs> 
I, I'm just grateful I didn't have to do that because I'd be silent this entire yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Well, then I guess we'll. Um, I think. Uh, so I'll say that. I think it would be good for us to do some preliminary work before we go tonight. I think we should go and talk perhaps to some of the elves and maybe just scout the general workshop. So I'm going to let everyone know too that just because Mary's really awkward, pretty much when y'all are talking like this is what we're going to go do, she just stands there and just, just shakes her head like, yeah. So she's Very pretty much good. always on board with everything. Very good. I'm going to find an elf disguise. <clears throat> Make an investigation check. Something I'm basically like the curly bill. Yeah, just... Sure. Eleven. Sounds good. Eleven, all right. And then that's what I'm doing right now while we're waiting. So as you're in... I just imagine, like, I go to a locker room and just start like, oh, what's in here? <laughs> so as you're exploring up on the third floor... Um, you do go through a few rooms. You go, you've been in the conference room. You know where Jeremy with the J's office is. So you're pretty sure there are probably not any elf outfits in either of those places. Um, you keep going through. Uh, you see a few more what look to be office spaces, a couple of storage buildings and on your or storage rooms. And on your third storage room, you do come across some trunks and chests that you're able to dig through and you find uh, a few mismatched elf outfits that you can kind of piece together to make I'm, yourself an outfit. I'm absolutely going to elf up. Elf up. Elf up. So, All right. Uh, one quick thing. Uh, while I was talking to Jeremy with a J, um, I am a wild magic sorcerer. Oh, good. And anytime I cast a level spell, uh, spell one or above, um, you can ask me to roll a d100. And Wheel or, of uh, randomness! Or you can ask me to roll a d20, and if it's a natural one, a random effect happens after the spell. So, if you want me to, I can just do that every time I oh cast my God. a spell. Oh, God. You could make the random effect that for one second he goes back into his regular yeah. body. And you could just decide what the effect is if you wanted to. Okay, well, we'll set it that. so that every time you cast... Every time. Okay, you but roll. can I roll for that time yes. then? It's an 11, so it's fine. Okay. All Wheels right. Oh, randomness! I think that's a critters thing. No. That's a Joe Cat. Yeah, uh, it's Joe Crap Cat. Crap Cat to D&D thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, the crap guy that he always made me watch. All right, so we have um, Gimbal with his Gimble new outfit. Um, I, I model it just. We've got Mary hanging out. We have cleaning Knit. herself. Okay, Mary's cleaning herself and Nick. Again, just contemplating the void. Okay. I just imagine. Sitting Mary. there plugged right. in, just fuming. I just imagine yeah. Mary's just like, what's wrong? Just look at her arm, yeah. Like, this is normal. Why don't you do this? All right, so what do you want to do next? I think Did we should want to speak interview to the elves? one of the elves. Knit. you do it. I can do this. Or, do, or should I do it, since I look like them? Oh, don't worry. I can handle this. And I'm going to cast a silent image again. So I'm going to roll another d20. Three, so I'm good. Uh, so again, I, I make uh, I make what looks like just a generic elf to me, like kind of uh, not one. I'm not trying to copy any of them. I'm just trying to make a normal elf, and I'm going to just sort of have him dragging, make it look like he's dragging the strand of Christmas lights with him. And I'm going to go up to one of the elves and say, "Hello, friend. <laughs> Hi. How are you this fine day?" Fine. Good. My name is Nikt. I am a fellow elf. I have been called in by Santa Claus to ensure that nothing <coughs> foul is running amok in this shop. Oh. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Nice to meet you, Nikt. Thank you. What is your name? Uh, John. John? Yeah. John. What do you think of the goings-on of the workshop? Well, honestly, everything seems to run pretty smooth. It's just that uh, 
when we come in every morning, we're just missing a bunch of stuff. Yes, any particular trends in the things that are missing? Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 we're definitely missing a, a 54 convertible, like blue. Uh, we're missing a, uh... Oh, gosh, what else we're missing? That's just a what huge... What type one. of seats were in the convertible? <laughs> It is Germain, don't worry. Ah, uh, I can't remember. It's okay, I was telling you a joke. Oh. It is not actually Germain. Oh. You did not laugh, though, and so it makes me think that perhaps my joke was not funny. I'm just confused. It is okay. What else has gone missing? Uh, diamond ring. Diamond ring. Uh, a diamond ring. A yacht? Yeah, there was a yacht that went missing. A yacht. So other than the large, both the jewelry and the automobile, what else has gone missing? Sex? Yep, yep, that's gone missing, that's gone missing. Uh, you are guessing this very well. This is my associate, Mary. Oh, hi, Mary. I'm John. So pretty. Gosh. Please focus, oh, John. Uh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> this is a very serious matter. So, we have the convertible, the diamond ring, the yacht. And what is the last thing we just said? Duplex and a couple of checks. A duplex and two checks? Yeah. Why only two checks? That is confusing. Gimbal. This is my associate, Gimbal. I'm going to take my little hat off. I'm like, hi. He is a gnome that likes to dress like an elf. You have a sharp, deductive mind. I'm going to roll a deception check. <laughs> You <laughs> fucker. I feel like he's DMing himself. <laughs> he is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone has it's a 12. God complex. I'm just shit. <laughs> oh, I know. And by the way, however I wrapped your gift, I just fed right into your God complex. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so here's a sharp, deductive mind gimbal. What do you think of this? Do you see any trends? No, I don't see any trends at all. Hmm. John, anything else you think we should know as we are trying to get to the bottom of this conundrum? Uh. Uh. Well, I mean, I, the shop closes at 7 every night. We come in at 7 in the morning, so something happens in between that time, but none of us have seen anything going on but we don't stay overnight or anything we all go rest but uh that's uh, that's really all i can tell you very good you have been very helpful Thanks. i want you to know that i believe that you are a good person thank you this is very affirming to me thank you good right. i will take my leave now Okay. Well, bye, guys. <coughs> as he walks away, as he walks away, he just, as he turns around, immediately drops the silent image. Yeah, the and lights just, just, just... And the lights fall to the ground and get drug along the ground by the mage hand. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. You ready for our plan? You bit. What time of day is it? It's about five at this point. Okay. Let's get in position. Very good. Okay, I just imagine this is going to end very treacherously. A little gnome just like... Yeah, Mission impossible down onto the shop floor. No, just no, can't go back. Yeah. yeah, no, just like like shuffling out yeah. across the beams like... Yeah. Okay. You know, you probably should want the tabaxi to do that. Seeing as how... Yeah, the really dexterous one. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, you I do would it. love to hear you, you go... Just Mary just sitting there watching. Yeah, like I know I should be doing it. Oh, see, but the thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna position Wait, myself like hold over. Hold on. The... Is Nick the strand that's holding you down? <laughs> um, 
I'm going to position myself over like the slime vet. That's. Do you want to become the Joker? Because this is how you become the Joker. <laughs> yeah, you're a vile one, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. No, I meant like slime as in like. Oh, like kids fun slime. Yeah, right? not yeah. not like industrial waste slime. Yeah, not the like dye my skin a different color. There you go. All right, so <clears throat> so you guys are up in the rafters. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess we wait. We wait until after the, everything closes, and it looks like everyone's gone. All right. Um, so the sun is setting. You guys are up in the rafters, and um, you hear door open. And Gingy calls out, Guys, are you in here? Gingy, Nick, Nick, give me a moment. Lord. I'm going to cast message in, um, and, and message I'm going to say, <coughs> Gingy, what are you doing in here? I was bringing you guys some food. Oh. I thought you would be hungry. I haven't seen you all day now. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I forgot. Would you like to help us in our plan? Yeah. Okay. Very good. What I would like for you to do is he, does his wife there with him or is it just him? Just Genji. Okay. What I would like for you to do is find a good hiding place and then at the appropriate moment I will give you a signal. And if you hear this signal, you must leap into action. So do you guys want the food or no? I am okay. Gimbal, are you hungry? No, I'm good right now. I'm like, leave the shit up with that. Or this is not the time to eat. Gimbal says that he is too nervous to eat. What have you, Mary? Are you hungry? Mm. Mm-mm. With candy canes. Do you have candy canes? Uh, no, it's just some um, sandwiches. Okay. So I'll just, I'll just put them... I'll just put him over here for now, and then that you know. is fine. Okay, I right, will. I'll just I'll just go over on the other side so I can be real stealthy, like good. And just hey, just you know, I'm an expert grappler. Okay, we're all good grappling. We're all good. I I appreciate this detail on your grappling all right. abilities. All right. All right. Okay. So not the rebel. Uh, so can I do a, um, <coughs> investigation check to see if, like, there's been anyone up around the rafters, like, kind of, like, trying to get a lay for the land? Yeah. Okay. Mm-mm. I am going to... Twelve. Twelve. All right. It doesn't seem that there's been anything. Uh, I can't see any tracks of a person okay. or anything. I am going to, like, tie a rope to myself. Just... Be mentally prepared that I could just totally fall off this beam. That would. What? Is it me? Are you tying me? It's Maybe. Because that was the plan. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so is it me? Maybe. Okay, it then yes. Be. Then tell me that. Yes. Okay. So I guess I'm up there holding it. So you're holding. You're holding it in, and I'm wrapped around you. Yes. I would love it if, by okay. the way, when you get really low, you untie him. Like, mm, yeah, I'm like, done. whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Straight to the slime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys sit. Oh, God, the surface tension could kill me. Wait. Listen. Gimbal, did you just fart? <laughs> Gimbal, we are to be silent. The three best words that describe you, and I quote, stink, stink. stink. <laughs> stink. stunk. <laughs> how do you know? Why are you blaming me? Well, I am incapable. Mary is above us, I believe. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. well, I mean, if y'all are down, I'm holding you up. Right? Then, yeah. And so, I believe also, the smell and heat would on. rise. How long is your uh, cord? Cause uh, Christmas, 50 feet. Okay, let's say, because Christmas lights. Yeah, 50 I mean, feet, 50 lights. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Shut off the lights. Oh, sorry. All right, as you wait a while longer, you suddenly see a very faint 
red glow. Rudolph? It's not Rudolph. You see this glow begin to kind of come down from some of the higher parts of the ceiling, and the glow descends upon some of the objects. And suddenly, some of the toys, the various candies, the goodies, levitate up into the air and slowly up, 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 out of an upper window that opens seemingly on its own. How far are we away from the window? You're about 20 feet away. Okay. Let's go! Like, what's in between us and the window? Is it like there, just rafters? There, there are rafters. Okay, so can I try and run across the rafters? Sure. Why don't you make an athletics check? Uh, okay. Fifteen. Okay. You're able to run across the rafters and get to the window. But it is at the top of a three-story building, so. That's fine. Okay. The cat will be okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Animals what do you do to slowly shuffle. Oh, across. I do realize, though, that doing that, I let go of y'all. As, as, yeah, I was going to say, as he's, as he's shuffling across, like, boom, as you run out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Untie me, you fool. <laughs> Untie me. What are we doing? There's no benefit to me being wrapped up. God. Jesus Christ. And I'm going to try and untangle myself. Oh, my myself God. What is that? You guys see? <laughs> Genji's going to run over and help to free Gimbal. Uh, yeah, because I dropped y'all. Like, I just down. imagine that we're going... No. Oh, wait, you've you dropped, dropped us? <laughs> well, I took off running. Oh, we're... I'm still... Oh, oh you know what? Never mind that. I'll hold, I'll, no, I'll hold on to you. No, you. As I'm you running. Said it. You already said it. <laughs> well, okay. And we're still descended, so... I dis- I'm descended. <laughs> we're going to about to descend straight into slime. Wait, I can still hold on to y'all as I just take off running. I mean, it's not that... You weigh, what, 20 pounds? (laughs) Just just him bonking into Yes, as as freaking (laughs) Nick is getting, like, strung through things, lights are popping. Yeah, like, uh, jeez. I just imagine, like, you go after... (gasps) Falls... No, I'm just holding on to y'all. And then you go past the rafter and I get drug across that... All right, Swings so you guys are making again. quite a mess in the workshop. But <laughs> but Mary has approached the window. And at this point, Genji has worked to free Gimbal from the tanglement. The entanglement and I'm going to grab a rafter and just like bear hug this thing. After terrifying event, after terrifying event, after terrifying event. Then I guess Nick is just coming with me. Yep, I'm getting the mage hand and I'm coming to join <laughs> everybody. Oh, well, right. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just take a second to be like <gasps> solid ground, solid ground. Come on, you coward! We must go. Okay. Right. And yeah, fine. I'm gonna. I. I. If if the window's not already closed, I'm gonna try and use mage hand to close it. It's open. It yeah. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna drop my, my lights like on one of the rafters, like dangle them down, and then use the mage hand to try and close the window once I'm in range. <clears throat> okay. You do so. Yeah. And um, so are we, where, are you exiting out the window? Is it already gone, the light? You can see it, but it's already in the distance. Oh, dang. Well, yeah. We need to follow that shit. So, uh, so never mind. I didn't know that. Okay, then yeah, then I'm, I'm I'm just I would I would just say follow me, and I just mage hand out the window. Okay. All right. So do you follow Nick? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll I just can't do fly. I'll we just, can't fly. No, I'll just do parkour across the buildings. <laughs> okay, parkour. God, come on, Gimbal. What are you doing? <laughs> As Gimbal's like, you know what, guys? I'll just catch you later. You know what? I'll put Gimbal on my no, back. No, no, no. I will use the flashlights to fly. <laughs> Let's see. Um, make me a uh, check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> acrobatics. Start rolling d8s for damage. <laughs> yeah, I guess an acrobatics. Yes. Fourteen. Okay, so um, you've been holding one in there, and you're like, "This is gonna at least give me a." 
a little bit of boost before I hit the ground, and so <laughs> you, uh, you jump out of the window and let a huge toot rip right before you hit the ground. But sadly, it doesn't really do anything because it's just a toot. So you know, I got the D20. roll a I roll a D8 for damage. Son of a bitch. That's all on you, boo. Three. <laughs> all right. It's going to take, take three damage from that fall. Um, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Genji is uh, following you guys as well. So you managed to catch up to them, Gimbal, and uh, you're all four together. <coughs> you can see up in the distance this glowing red light that's still carrying, it seems to be like a cloud, carrying these items. So you're going to continue to follow it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Totes. Okay. Totes. Yeah. All right. So you follow it, and as you're going along, you, you notice that you're nearby the main road, but you're definitely in the dense forest part of it, uh, of this of the side of the road. So as you're going along, it's getting a little bit harder to see that red light. It's getting a little bit thicker. It's a little tougher to travel through. Um, but you guys can make it. So you see through the trees and the snow what seems to be a fairly large very nice modern wood cabin. And as you're traveling up, you see the red light go behind the cabin and then disappear. I'm going to like stealth my way up there. Like I just imagine myself like burrowing through the snow to get close. Okay. I'm assuming we make you a stealth check. Sure. Twelve. All right. Me just being socially awkward, I'm just walking straight up to the back of the house. Okay. <laughs> and Nick? <clears throat> I, in my studies of the arcane, do I know anything that this looks like? Why don't you roll a check? Would like to make an arcana check. That's all right. Would you there, DM? And I rolled a four. You don't know anything. Oh, don't know diddly. Oh, you only know about sh- sushis so and sushimis. Oh my god! So much for being a master of the arcane. Well, I didn't say anything to you. I just, I just was sitting there thinking about. The oh, arcane. I'm just saying it out loud. Oh, oh yeah, you as John the human being. Yes. Hit the button. You know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't even know which button it is, huh? Oh, I do know what it what, is. Which one is it? Which one is it? I got saved. <laughs> you haven't saved the red button. It's the red button. It's the best red button. You know what they probably do anytime someone in this house does something annoying? Kevin probably just yells, John! 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 Mm hmm. All right, so would you guys like to make an investigation check? Yes. See? Why don't you guys each make an investigation <coughs> check and see what's going on around here? 18. Okay. 24. Ooh. Five. All right, so uh, everyone but Mary is able to see. I just imagine Mary, like, playing with the Nick, just... (laughs) Stop it. So as you guys approach the cabin, you can see um, it is fully furnished with very nice things. Uh, Clearly someone who's doing very well is living here. Um, There are piles and piles of gadgets, trinkets, goodies, just kind of surrounding it, just bags full of of things that are of value and worth. Okay? So what do you do? Thorn whip. I'm going to go to the chimney. <laughs> Why are you German now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very oh. cute. <laughs> I'm oh, just no. doing it. I'm not yeah. in person. Welcome to my life. I'm not in per character right now. All right. Is this better? Would you like me to throw a rope up to the roof? Mm. Okay. Yes. All right. So. Do I need to make an acrobatics check? 
Yes. <laughs> Four. Ah, uh, yeah, does not work. <laughs> I just Doesn't imagine we slam to the side you of the house. Attempt thorn whip, and <coughs> it, uh, it 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 doesn't even latch onto the wood. Um, okay. So, what else? Were, what else do you want to do? Look, can yes. you go down the chimney and get on the Christmas tree? Yes. Do I do I remember is I mean looking in the window do I see a Christmas tree? Oh, there's definitely a Christmas tree. It's okay. about 12 feet tall. Fully fully decked out with every kind of ornament you could ever imagine. Okay. Uh, what color lights are you? Uh rainbow. You're you're a multi-strand. Yeah, multi-strand. Hey, you're welcome to get on the tree, but this tree is gold lights only. I will use prestidigitation to make my lights look gold. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and cast Bardic Inspiration on him. Okay. Uh, so, yes. So, I'm going to try to sneakily <coughs> snake my way down the chimney and drag myself slowly to the tree and wrap myself into it to make myself look normal. Why don't you make a stealth check? I will. Fourteen. Okay. You're able to go down the chimney. It's pretty sooty. Yeah. But um, you can kind of rub it off on the tree once yeah. you I'm get trying, on there. I'm like on the branches. I'm like, that's good. That's good. <laughs> trying to give yourself a little back oh, scratch. Good. There well, you that's go. Is good. That's just <laughs> um, Is there, can I see if there's a person in the house? Where are you? People? I'm going to look through like the, the window. You can't see anything. I, uh, I'm going to cast a message and say, uh, to the direction I think they are, and say, I am in the house. I am on the tree. Where are you? I am in the house. I am on the tree. So I'm just going to walk up to the front door and see if it's unlocked. <laughs> it is. It is uh, unlocked. Um. Oh, no, somebody's <laughs> coming in. <laughs> That's right. It's miserable. What? It's Mary. Mary is coming in the house. As I shut the door. Mary, what are you doing? Door was unlocked. Oh, oh I don't I I do something. As you are approaching and you're having this um, message conversation, you hear footsteps coming down the stairs. I'm going to go hide behind the tree. All right. So, um, make a perception check, <coughs> each of you two, oh. because you're on the tree. Hold on, I have a proficiency in the perception and stealth Natural skills. Natural 20. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> you roll. Uh, I just want to see what you get, just to... 13. I was just like, right. it was a z- like a so, one. So, Mary, you, you're, you can see the figure of a woman... But since you are behind the tree, the branches are kind of obscuring your view, so you're not sure what exactly you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Nick, however, you can see very clearly that this is a human woman who appears to have um, a long sequined gown on. Pandora. She's she's (laughs) very elegant. The gold sequin gown, um, her hair is piled up high above her head in dark curls, and she's very lovely. And she looks around and says, hello? Hello? Who's there? Do you answer? I don't. Um, At this point, I'm going to use my infusions. I'm going to use my arcane focus, and I'm going to use my enhanced defense on my armor. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then I'm just going to sit outside and like see if I'm waiting for the message to come through. Me being anxious that she knows I'm there because I'm awkward and I'm uncomfortable, I'm just going to pop out and say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Toys in every store. Oh, okay. 
uh, 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 Santa, Santa baby, bring me a, a, a dagger. And instantly, in a red cloud, a dagger is going to appear in her hand. Okay, at, at this point, I'm just going to like bust in the front door as backup. Ah, uh, San, Santa baby, bring me the enchanted snowman. And instantly, in a red cloud, a giant <laughs> enchanted snowman with glowing red eyes appears right in front of you, Gimbal, mm. and he is menacing. I'm going to bust out my thorn whip, like, ready to go. Okay. Still biding my time. Okay. I'm realizing I made a huge mistake. I'm just going to stand there now and be like, well, I did this. <laughs> Right. So um, she's going to look at you and say, what are you here for? What do you want? There's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well. And you want the trees? She's a, she can only sing Christmas songs. Oh, isn't that cute? What's wrong and with you? you? What are you here for? Help Santa? Help Santa. <laughs> You're a foul one. Mr. Grinch. Ah, uh, Snowman. I'd like for you to take care of this one over here. And she nods to Gimbal. So at this point, um, I'm going to need you to roll for initiative. Yeah. Hey. Well, that's good. You got a 15, honey? 21. Okay. 15. 19. <laughs> okay, and let's see. How big is the snowman, just for reference sake? He is nine feet tall. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, Nick, you're going to be up first. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Silent Image. <laughs> and I'm going to make it look like my human persona is between me and the lady. So I'm actually in the tree. There's something between me and her. So it's going to look like Seth's coming out of the human, hoping she'll attack the Silent Image. Um, so that is my action. And then I'm going to expend a sorcery point uh, to do a quicken spell. And I will cast Firebolt uh, <coughs> at the lady, um, and uh, which is normally an action, but now it's shortened to a bonus action. So I will attack her. Make a range spell attack. That's probably not going to hit. It's going to be 11. Does not hit. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. All right, Gimbal. And then, uh, and I say um, something real badass, like, like, uh, uh, like, where is your holiday spirit? Yes. Uh, I am going to summon my Eldridge Cannon. Okay. In which what I'm going to, so that was my action. As a bonus action, it takes like its turn right after me. And I'm going to use its Force Ballista. Which I have to read how... Hold on. Feel free to read that aloud. Yeah, for everybody. <laughs> um, force Ballista, make a ranged spell attack originating from at the, the cannon at one creature or object within 120 feet. On hit, the target <coughs> takes 2d8 force damage, and if the target is a creature, it is pushed 5 feet away from the cannon. So, my ranged spell attack... I don't even know what that is. Since it's plus one, since I have the arcane focus, is spell attack is plus seven now. Eighteen. That's a hit. So now roll two d eight. Eight. Nine. Wow. Okay. Nine. All right. And it pushes it five feet away. Okay. The snowman. All right. 
So um, next up we have Mary. They're on the, uh, the last page. <coughs> um, I'll do Cloud of Daggers. Okay. Which means oh, at the start oh, of their turn, they take 44 damage. Okay, or who are you aiming at? The snowman. Because okay. that's all that's there, right? The lady disappeared. She didn't disappear. Oh, well then I'll aim it at her. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah, I think that's the end of. Unless you're. Unless no, you're that's the end of my action. turn. All right. Next up, we have our snowman. So he is going to. Um, he's actually going to cast. Um. thinking. It's hard as a snowman, you know. Sometimes you get right. brain freeze. Robocop, you got sharp little claws. Uh, that's because he wants you to call him by his Christian name. Robert Copper. Robert O'Copp. Alright, so the snowman um, is going to okay, attack well, no. the person closest well, to him. He's your cat. You would know his name. He's going to attack the person closest to him, which is Gimbal. And he is going to attack with uh, Frostbite. So um, I need you, let's see. I just want you to know, John, I cannot hear your name Gimble without starting to see Skimble Shakes. <laughs> and All no right. one wants to hear that. What's your DC? Spell save DC. Um, my spell save DC is 14. Oh, okay. So he is going to hit, so you will take... Um, see, is it a, wait, do I make the save or does he make the save? Or does he roll? What spell is it? The frostbite attack. <clears throat> the DC 16. Uh, he makes you a con save and then the DC is 16. Okay. So that's a 9 plus 4, 13. All right. So you will take 2d6 cold. So you damage. roll that. <coughs> um, that's going to be 8. Such a mess. <laughs> okay. And then next up, we have. Yeah. A bird. Yay. 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 Okay. Um, next up, we have our uh, lady who is a sorceress, and um, her name is Ruby. So next up, we have Ruby. She takes the forty-four damage for the Cloud of Tigers. Okay. So I think. Do I do it? Yeah. Okay. The D4. The pyramid. I know, it always makes, because it doesn't look like a D4. Two. It's confusing because it's a triangle. Five. It's like something three. Oh. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Okay. All right. So next up is her turn. And well, she's mad after that. And she's definitely going to be targeting you. Probably. So she's going to, um, she's going to do Firebolt. And so, let's see. Firebolt is... You know, I feel pretty dumb because I was like, you know what? For this 4D, they should have just done like a four-sided thing. That's what they should have done. <laughs> But yeah, it is four sides, four corners, four sides. Yeah. But it's a freaking pyramid. Goddamn geometry, throwing off my brain. Okay, I don't have any of the details for Fireball. Okay, so, so uh, range spell attack. So you roll a d20, add your spell attack modifier. All right, so it's seconds, going so. to be a 12. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and that I don't think You're it's at all. Yeah, not at all. All right. 13. All right. So yeah. she's going to attempt it at you, and it's going to miss. <laughs> As okay. the fire bolts are just raining through uh, this house, I guess. Just well, I did the matrix thing. That's what I did. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. All right. Um, as her bonus action, she will ready her dagger. Okay. And the next step, we will go. We'll go back to Nick. Okay. Uh, so again, um, uh, uh, I will say, your mastery of the arcane arts seems rudimentary, and I'm going to cast a uh, ray of frost. Um, and so that's going to. The ring spell, and ah, that's right hit. Fifteen? Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah, I just try it again and. Psh, and nothing. Okay. All right. Next up is Gimbal. Okay. Which one? That's why I pointed it to you, so I could the see. The last it. one? No, the middle one. That allows them to forget the last six seconds of conversation. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to start with my thorn whip. And I'm going to use it against Ruby. Okay. So, it's a 20. Not a nat 20, but it's a dirty 20. Okay. So, now I do... Oh, 1d6. My bad. So, six points of damage with that. And then I'm going to use my arcane turret again. In how far is Ruby? Is Ruby and the Snowman in like an alignment of any way? With um, my arcane like turret. Chaotic neutral. Sorry. <laughs> he opened the door. He did. Um, they're they're not. From your perspective, they're not aligned. All right, I'm going to use Force Ballista on Ruby. Okay. So it's going to take my spell hit modifier and then... That is a natural one. Uh-oh. Plus seven, so... So that Ballista eight. is a dud. It's just going to slam into the wall. <laughs> yeah, just, it's like when you light a firework and nothing happens, and you go to check it, and you're a little bit worried about getting burned in the face, but not enough so and that you don't do it. It's like that. I know that feeling yeah. all too well. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the next up, Mary. Uh, I'm going to do my long sword and go up to her and just kind of... Stab at her? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what? Where is that? You want to breathe a little bit louder there, babe? Yes, I will. That one? Yes, me too. Words of terror? No, above that. Oh, psychic blades. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one use of your bardic inspiration to deal an extra 2d6 of, psych- 2D6 of psychic damage. Okay. So, I'm going to go up to her, and literally with my longsword, I'm just going to try and... Jam into her. Shake her. Okay. So. Um, all right. So for that, are we going to roll a d20? I think I always have to roll a d20 because that lets me know if I can even do it. If you it. did it, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Or are you going to use the second place? Uh, that'd be a three. <laughs> um, I'm just going to. Maybe I'm going to say you got it out and you were ready to do it, but then at the last minute you were feeling too anxious and you were like, oh, I can't, I can't quite get over there. Yeah. Can't quite over there. Maybe next time. All right. Um, anything as your bonus action or movement? Uh, no, I'm just gonna pretty much stand there clicking right. in my boots. Pulling right. a neck. Just standing there <laughs> shaking. Alright, so, um, Fucking at this point, the snowman is going to, um, try to attack the, um, he's gonna try to attack Gimbal again. Okay. And so, he's gonna use Frostbite. So it's going to be for a DC 16. So, okay, so you're going to make the con save. 
16. Ah, oh, if it meets, it beats. beats. So, so all right. So he he tries, but again, you're just not having it. So it fails. Um, next up is our sorceress, Miss Ruby, and she is going to attempt to attack. Um, Cloud of daggers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Cloud of daggers. Okay. Oh, that's me. Four of these? Yep. Yes. Okay. Six. Or three. Five. Five. I can't pick this thing up. Seven. Nine. All right. Get hurt, Ruby. Okay. Just as mad as she can be, she is going to lunge at you with her own dagger. Um, let's see. Oh, she rolled a two. <laughs> so that... <laughs> She tried, but she was uh, still in pain from her attack from the Cloud of Daggers. And uh, she's pretty weak, so that didn't do any good for her. Uh-uh. All right. Um, just as she fails her attack, you see in the corner of your eye someone else in the room that you did not know was in there before. And, um, uh, guys, I want you guys to make a perception check. Eight. Eight, okay. Fifteen. Uh, twelve. Okay. So, it's a little unclear because of all the chaos that's going on with, you know, the fighting. Um, but you do see a pretty round man enter the room and it does seem that he is wearing red and that's about all you can see santa baby that's my line <laughs> <laughs> okay so next up we have nick okay uh so uh i'm just gonna keep trying to firebolt i'm gonna try it again okay that's not balls so that is 18 18 against her AC. For her? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Yes, that's going to hit. Okay, so she's going to take 1d10 of fire damage. She's going to take 5 points of fire damage. Mm, Okay. Uh, And then, just to make it even crazier, I am going to use my Cloud of Daggers on, uh, on the snowman. So, start of his turn, another, uh, 44 damage. Okay. Right. Oh, and I have to expend a little blast of my sorcery points to do that. Okay. So, that's my turn. All right, next up we have Gimble. I am going to do Thorn Whip again, but I'm going to target Ruby again. Doesn't look good for you there, Gim. It's a good old nine. That's a negative, sir. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my bonus action to use... Actually, I'm going to use Flamethrower this time on Ruby. Actually, no. I'm going to use that on the snowman. I just imagine him being weak to fire. Mm, okay. Um, which is a 15-foot cone of fire. Each creature takes 2d8 fire damage. Half that on a dex save of D, uh, DC 14. Uh, yeah. Okay. So they have to make a deck save of 14. But I would imagine he's vulnerable to fire. Mm, it's going to be a 19. So he's going to take half damage on uh, 2d8. So it's one. One. Alright, so we're gonna take a total one. of one. Two, no, well, it was two and a one, so it's 1.5. Yeah, round down. One. <laughs> <laughs> just lights okay. him up, just like. Poof. Yeah. He's just slightly warmer. <laughs> okay, alright, so then next we have. He's Olaf uh, Mary. Away. Looking forward to that summer. It's what? Mary. I'm going to again approach Ruby with my long sword and try that again. Okay. 
Oh, wait. No, never mind. So that is uh, going to be a 20 and not nat 20, Ooh. but... That's going to hit. Okay. So 1d8. The D8 is the double Of course, it would look the, 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 the one that looks like two. Pyramids slammed together. Yeah. I have not been rolling my wild magic table. <gasps> Shame. That's going to do eight points. All right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Eight points plus 2d6 psychic damage. Okay. It's going to be six. Ten. So a total of 18 points. Is she dead? Mm, she is looking pretty rough. Pretty rough indeed. Okay. Um, next up is the snowman's turn. And seeing the damage that you just did to Ruby, he is going to now attack you with, um, let's see. He's going to take 11 points of damage from Cloud of Daggers. Yes, yes. <laughs> That is the best spell. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I see why he casts it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he is going to cast Magic Missile and aim everything at you. Okay. Me or who? Okay, it's going to be an 18. Yeah. It's going to hit. All right. So, Magic Missile 1d4. Okay. It's going to be five damage. Okay. I think you can probably handle it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, next up is going to be our newly entered gentleman's turn. And as he steps forward into the light of the Christmas tree, you see that it is indeed Santa himself. Oh and my. right behind him is Gingy. Ready to take on the baddies with you guys. So, Santa is going to come up and he is going to attack the snowman with burning hands. So, that's going to be. Oh, I'm fighting my own people now. Okay, yeah. that's just. Crazy. Oh, it's hard. Right. Uh, yeah, melee spell, d20 plus a spell attack modifier. Woo! 18. All right, so, so that's going to get him for sure. And then he is going to do 3d6 fire damage. Okay. What is Six. Snow? Seven, eight. Nine. So that's going to do nine damage. All right. Santa laid hands on that snowman and he burned him real good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up is going to be back to Nick. Okay. Uh, uh, wait a second. Did Ruby take your turn? Right now, she cannot. Because if she do, she gonna die. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so I am going to uh, uh, once again, I guess I'm gonna start focusing on the snowman because it seems like that's the bigger threat. So another fire bolt. That is not great. Twelve. For the AC? Yeah, it? yeah, against some man's AC. It meets. It meets, it beats, it hits. Yep. yep. <coughs> That's 1d10. Thank you. Ooh, that is 10 points of fire damage. For snowman? For snowman. <coughs> okay, he melted. Yes. He blow torched him and he is melted. Yeah. There is a I puddle melted. where he once stood. Yeah. Okay. And what were his two glowing eyes? They're just now two pieces of charred coal. Yeah. Oh, frosty. And I, I, I look at him and I say, Today it is you. Tomorrow it is us all. All right. Hey. Can I just unplug him? <laughs> Super fucking dirt. Okay. Um, where you saw the sorceress before, you look again and it now seems that there's a different person there. It seems that it's a young girl, maybe five or six years old, with light blonde hair and a sweet rosy cheeked face. And she says, please, please don't hurt me. I'm gonna stab her. You're gonna stab her? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> with 
my long sword. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Straight for the fucking throat! Uh, that's gonna be again a dirty 20. Alright. So, <laughs> 1d8. <laughs> Stanver, yeah. That's five, <coughs> and then that's going to be eleven points total. Uh. As you stab with your long sword, it is a clean shot to the jugular. Mm-hmm. And as you see your long sword cutting into the skin of this young child. <laughs> the image suddenly changes from a child back to the woman that you saw, the sorceress, and then to a demonic looking contorted creature with an almost skeleton like frame. And I'm going to use my force ballista to shoot. Wait, it's not your turn. Is it not my turn? I think I might have gone out of turn, but that means it just started over. Well, I just assumed that we were out of combat okay. for a second. Okay, so so um, the snowman is melted. You have this pile of skeletal-looking, uh-huh. creepy, demonic on the floor, and it's it shrivels up into a pile, and the last breath is gone. So you have clearly defeated whatever that was. And uh, now Santa's going to approach you and say, Oh, ho, 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 dear friends, thank you so much for your assistance. You have been instrumental in finding the culprit of our mischievous resources that have gone missing. Santa, hello, my name is Nicked. I am not going to shake your hand, and it is not because I am not corporeal. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. go, like, hug Santa, just because it's, he's like a master oh, toy maker. Oh, oh, oh. Hello there, Gimbal. Have you been a good boy this year? Uh, really? <laughs> and how about you, Nick? Santa, I have a confession to make. Yes. This is not my true form. And I drop the silent image and tab my mage hand, unwind all the Christmas lights, and say, This sad husk is all that I am anymore. Oh, Nicked. I know that. I always. But it's all right. Uh, I might be uh, able to help you. You always know. And Mary, have you been a good girl? Mm hmm. All right, well, why don't you all follow me and Gingy back to the North Pole's headquarters? Think of all the fun I've missed. I know someone that's going to be excited to see you, Mary. Mm. And just before we leave, like, as we're leaving, I'm going to have my turn turn to the corpse and use flamethrower to just incinerate whatever... Actually, more like making a steam room because there's a pile of water there. Well, no, I meant the corpse the, the of demonic corpse, right? Yeah. yeah. Just make it some ashes, in which my arcane turret is an otter with like a shotgun. All right. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. And then, I just, and then I'm just going to have it follow us out. All right. So you follow Santa back to his home. We're not at the warehouse anymore. We're at his actual home, which is lovely. It's a big lodge. Um, Lots of beautiful velvet, um, beautiful comfy pillows and throws and nice furniture to sit on. And uh, you have a seat and Mrs. Claus brings out some lovely cookies and milk for you. And Santa says to you, well, what can I do to help you all since you've helped me so much? Can you just... <laughs> Welcome to my life. Can you teach me how to make proper toys? I absolutely can do that, my boy. In fact, I'd be happy to offer you a position as one of our head toy makers. Really? Really. And you, Nick? I would give so much to be free of this prison. 
Nicked, I think we can make that happen for you. Come with me, my boy. Okay. And he's going to take you over to his Christmas tree. Okay. Which, as you can imagine, Santa's Christmas tree. Oh, God. I bet is, it's pretty It's got to be like Connie's. I, I, just, I just imagine it's like Times Square on crack. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and point out because I don't think anyone's noticed it. Liz is literally playing with red, white, and green dice. I am. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, how very appropriate. <laughs> um, all right. So Santa takes Nick over to the Christmas tree. Mm. And he's going to unplug two of the strands of lights that are plugged in, and he's going to plug your strand in between those lights. Oh, you have it backwards. It's the, it's the male and the female. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me because, regret this, because, Nick. <laughs> well, just no one gets it right the first time. So he plugs you, you in and gently hangs your light strand on the tree. And at that moment, you feel this surge of energy. This magical, warm feeling just envelops you. And you suddenly feel that your life, while short as it's been, has been incredibly important. And you've been fulfilled. And you have helped make the difference in millions of people's lives with your actions tonight. And you no longer consider your life as part of a dreary intermittent stage between you and the void you now feel a sense of accomplishment and even a bit of hope for the next day and as you are having these feelings you begin to feel as you're fading away slowly and you are then reformed into your natural state of your tiefling body. See the see a happy little tiefling with his like his little horns. He says, "I can feel my stomach." <laughs> no! Oh, 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 oh. Come here, you great jolly bastard! <laughs> At this point, Gimbal is just gonna like latch on to Nick and just like bear hug. But, oh. but just being a gnome. Oh, he's not... now that I have my body back, I am going to beat the shit out of Gimbal. <laughs> well, not before Christmas, right? Of course not, Santa. <laughs> of course not. And Mary. But soon. <laughs> what can I help you with, Mary? Uh, so just like the Little Mermaid, I'm just gonna look stroke at you and rub your sh- my stroke throat. Your oh, Mary. The gift of a voice able to speak in words of your choice. (laughs) Santa's going to walk you over to a piano. And it's a grand piano. But for real, it's a really nice piano. (laughs) Like a baby grand? Mm -hmm. It's it's really nice. I'm waiting for piano. And he's going to begin playing a song for you. It's called Baby Grand. Oh. He's going to begin playing a song for you. He's going to say, Oh, I'm going to play and you sing along. Mm-hmm. Ready now? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
we're so happy. We're gonna we're gonna name him after you guys. We're thinking like Knight Gim Mary Mary Knight Gimble. Gimble oh, Mary Knight. That is a uh, terrible we'll, name. We'll but workshop it. Yes, do. Okay. And suddenly no one can hear anything because I'm purring so loudly. Oh well this, this is such a wonderful time. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Making cookies. <laughs> that's, and that's, that's, that's a great place to end the episode. <laughs> yes, yeah. it yes, it is. <laughs> well done. Yay. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. Yes.